to boring we have been discussing on the strength of various materials before going to various materials and their behavior in service an overall view of various strength of materials can be discussed one such strength is called the compressive strength or crushing strength it is a direct strength for example suppose you want to break an eater wood which is little hard what we do is you put it in your one of the palms then apply a force with other when the when it is the resistance is more you apply a little more some way you try to break some may not what type of force we had apply we will see that most of the eater woods if you just apply either you put in one palm and just to press with the other it breaks or you just use one palm and crush it's crushing similarly juice for example just to keep an orange in your palm skews when you skews the juice comes out so you are applying a crushing force crushing force result in crushing stress ultimately reaches crushing strength compressive strength and the material fails i am sitting in a chair sitting on a chair it has four legs i am symmetrically sitting and all the four legs are subject to equal compressive load compressive load the resistance of my load by these legs vary according to their cross section and according to the material by which they are made so the strength of the material depends on the material quality and the cross section of the material another term comes it is the resisting area there may be other stresses developed on the leg but the major stress developed is the direct stress a compressive stress that compressive stress is transferred to the floor on a bigger platform so the four legs are subjected to compressive stress till they can withstand this compressive stress they will stand once an excessive load comes on them it will so one major strength of material is the compressive stress any arbitrary compressive stress and ultimate compressive strength it's a direct stress this direct stress is along the axis of the material so this compressive stress is always called axial stress it may be usually in the longitudinal direction the member the member seeing this as a member this is the axis of the member the stress along the axis so it is called a direct stress or axial stress or longitudinal stress or uni axial stress because we are considering only one axis now any material to its shape in general we have three axes y axis x axis and z axis if the stress is there only in one axis it is uni axial 
if it is having two axes stress is in two <coughs> along two axes then it is called biaxial and if it is along z axis to x axis y axis and z axis that is the most generalized loading system then it is called triaxial so stresses will be axial uniaxial biaxial and triaxial this is common uh, not only for compressive stress this this is common for everything i should have told you earlier before starting compressive stress Uh, thank God that I I, I remember that now and something. So the force along one axis uniaxial, along two axis biaxial, along three axis triaxial. They are all direct stresses. There will be additional stresses apart from direct stresses that will come in due course. One. such type of stress is called compressive stress so each material will exhibit its compressive strength value some can resist more compressive stresses some cannot so one is compressive stress second is the tensile strength tension tensile stress reaching the tensile tug of war tug of war assume that all the people are along the axis even though there's a slight shift if there's that shift has to be the least because then only the, the side which are always towards which are always towards the rope will win so the forces are trying to apply a tension before the rope failing the other one, one the, the, the strength of one side of the people pulls the other side by which the rope is saved on an extraordinary case if both the teams are very strong and going on applying more and more force on that piece of one side of people coming to one side the rope will break into two pieces because of the tensile strength developed on the rope similarly when uh, a material if you apply a pull you apply a pull on this this material is subject to tensile stress inside that tensile stress will be there if we apply a push we apply a push compressive strength will be developed if we apply a pull tensile stress will be as i told you an example of a chair suppose you have a saddle or a cradle Uh, is Kerala uh, festival in India? It's a national festival. Ona. Usually the ladies sing. They make a sing, a traditional sing, and they enjoy the festival by singing on the cradle. or sad or a sing it will be tied on a rope usually a tree branch branch of a tree they put the rope and they it will be tied on four corners of the sing this rope which is put over the branch some sing will have chains Whether it is a chain or a rope, the material is different, configuration is different. But they are when people are sitting. Don't assume that they are singing. When they are singing, the natural stress developed on the rope will be different. It's a complicated phenomenon. 
just think that they are not singing for the time being as first principles. Let us assume something initially, then go on starting analyzing the advanced things. So now people are sitting, ready to sing, but not singing. At that time, the four parts of the rope, four parts of the rope will be subjected to tensile strength. So another major strength on materials is tensile strength. So the compressive strength and tensile strength are direct stresses, direct axial longitudinal stresses. There are examples of direct stresses. So drawing water from a well or a fixed pulley, fixed pulley, one side is the bucket with water, other side you are pulling. The nature of stress developed on the rope will be tensile. So the rope has to withstand the tensile strength. Tensile stress, it should have sufficient tensile strength to withstand the tensile stress. So compressive strength, tensile strength. The third stress is the shear stress. Shear stress. Shearing stress. You just peel a paper from a notebook. You should not do. We are not supposed to peel a paper on a notebook, but we do it because emergency forces us to do that. We do it. All the things are like that in life. How many things are not should not be done? But we will have some excuse and we do it. So I can at least use that to quote as an example. So you just hold one hand and you just shear it off. So the shear thing is the material paper is subjected to shear stress. Similarly, splitting the paper into two. Splitting the paper into two. So the plane is subjected to a shear stress. So a shear to take place, a plane is required. You need a plane. Shear stress is a planar stress. Unlike the compressive strength and tensile strength. Compressive strength and tensile strength are direct stresses, axial stresses, linear stresses. That's why we told you longitudinal stress. But shear stress, you need a plane to shear off. So, shear strength is a plane acting on, on, over a plane. Shear strength. So, materials, certain materials will have better shear strength compared to other, compared to other materials. So, shear strength. So, compressive strength, tensile strength. These are all general for all materials. Only the their resisting values will be different. But the definitions are same for all the materials. So, compressive strength, tensile strength, shear strength. Then, an extension of the shear strength. The extension of the shear strength. How will you drain off water in vast cloth? We do that. The water, we very often do that. You just wash the cloth, use both the hands, take it as a bundle, apply a rotation on one hand, in the other direction, the other hand. You excuse, you will see so many planes on the cloth when the water is removed. It is a torsional force. It is an angular force. Torsional stress is developed on the material. But torsion results in shear. It's a manifestation of shear. Even though you are applying an angular torque, that is called a torque. It's an external disturbance. The torque is not on the same direction on both ends, the opposite direction. You can very well see the cleavage planes on the cloth. 
through the cleavage planes you can see the skew stout water we will continue in the next talk thank you god bless